if you're looking to visit, visit this stadium. They got to figure it out here. It's more than a buzz at Bryant Denny Stadium. It's electric. Here comes the tie. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again with a game preview and score prediction for this week, October the 22nd. Um, my Alabama Crimson Tide versus the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Both teams are coming off a loss, so I'm sure both teams will be hungry to get a win this weekend. And hopefully, it's my team, the Crimson Tide, to come out victorious. But anyway, I'm going to start out talking about Mississippi State and their offense, which is averaging 427 yards a game, 334 yards passing per game, 99 yards rushing per game. Their defense is giving up 375 yards a game, 223 on the ground, I mean uh, 223 in the air, and 150, well, basically 153 on the ground. So, Hopefully, hopefully they'll continue to give that up and more this, this game. Now, their quarterback, Will Rogers, I got to say it once again. I don't know why he's not in the Heisman Trophy talk. The guys passed for over 2,300 yards this season with 23 touchdowns to four interceptions. So I don't know why he's not in the Heisman Trophy talk. So 23, 23 uh, touchdowns through seven games. So a little over three touchdowns a game, uh, which that is good. Um, uh, so, yeah. But anyway, uh, as far as their rushing, their guys, their, their running backs, uh, Jordan, Marks, Price. So uh, Dylan, jo uh, not Jordan, but I meant to say Johnson, but Dylan Johnson has three touchdowns. He got 407 yards rushing and uh, 215 receiving. So, legs, he can catch it, he can run it, he can score both ways. But he's he's got three touchdowns. Uh, Jaquavius Marks, he's got five touchdowns on, uh, he's got 259 yards passing, 200, I mean, 259 yards rushing, and 200 yards receiving. So, another guy, do it with his legs and his arms. Um, Let's talk about these receivers. Well, Duckin. Duckin is a stud. That is a guy that Alabama going to have, have to watch out for. Or they'll get the same treatment that they got last week. Straight up, straight up Molly Wap on the back end. I mean, damn. Damn, Alabama couldn't do shit with Hyatt last week. So if if they come out with that same attitude and 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 playing the way they play, same thing that happened this week. And guess what? It will be Duckin doing it to him. But anyway, uh, Duckin has 354 yards receiving and seven touchdowns. All right, uh, Harvard 276 yards, two touchdowns. Ra Ra Thomas 383 yards, three touchdowns. Austin Williams 141 yards, four touchdowns. I mean, damn, Jaden Wally, 156 yards, three touchdowns. And then you got three other guys with touchdowns receiving. <laughs> so Will, Will uh, Rogers is throwing that thing all over the damn field, man. And uh seems to me, going back to last week, Alabama got some serious issues in that secondary. So and we only got one week to fix them. There might be some tough sledding right there. But we'll see, hopefully, hopefully old Nick and Pete Golden can get it done. I got faith. I got faith because uh, I think they're going to be, after they seen what we did last week, I think they're going to be throwing everything in the book at us through the air. I really believe that. And you know Mississippi State run that out rate, so we might have our work cut out for us. But anyway, Mississippi State defense, they got uh, nine interceptions on the season, and they got uh, four, five fumble recoveries, so 14 uh, takeaways this season. 
two per game. Not bad. On, well, the average two per game, but that's that's not bad at all. So we'll see how it works out, man. But I'm telling you, man, Will Rogers, Caleb Duncan, Ra Ra Thomas. I don't know, brother. Can't forget about Jaden Wally. So, but yeah, man. We just we just gonna have to see how it goes, man. Um right now I'm a little I ain't too confident in our secondary right now. They gotta they got to regain my confidence. I'm gonna tell you that now. But anyway, let's talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide. <laughs> and we're coming in the game. Ranked number six. I forgot to mention that Mississippi State is ranked number twenty-four. But uh we're coming in the in the game in the game, ranked number six with a six and one record. Like I said, we lost last week, tough loss to uh the Tennessee Volunteers. But uh as far as our offense, we averaged five hundred and thirteen yards. And uh we're giving up two hundred and ninety-six yards a game on defense. Um uh, just like Two or three games ago, that, that number was 250. We was giving up 250 yards on defense, but we done went up 46 yards. Um, we're giving up 276.3 yards. I mean, uh, we're giving up uh, no 197.6 passing, 98.4 yards rushing. So not bad. Not bad. But uh, for a total of 296. But anyway, uh I forgot the offense is a gain of 276 yards a game passing, 236 yards rushing. Uh, pretty, pretty uh, balanced, so that's good. But I just, I, I ain't worried about the offense. I'm not worried about the offense at all. I want the defense to step up, you know. Bryce Young came back and showed the hell out. He lost, but he damn sure showed out, so we ain't got to worry about that damn shoulder. But anyway. Uh, when it comes to Bryce Young, he done threw for uh, 1,600 yards. Matter of fact, 1,657 yards, 16 touchdowns, three interceptions. So, and if need be, Jalen Milrow, 262 yards, five interceptions. I mean, five touchdowns, two interceptions. All right. Another superstar for us, Jameer Gibbs with 635 yards pass, rushing, and he's caught 200 and uh, six to eight yards uh, through the air with eight touchdowns, five rushing, three uh, receiving. Jason McClendon has five touchdowns on 303 yards. Um, for his rushing, Milro got a touchdown. Roy L. Williams got a touchdown. Jamarian Miller got two. Trey Sanders got one. Bryce Sean has scored three touchdowns on the ground. So, I mean, we can run the ball. That, that ain't, the offense ain't the issue, man. Far as receiving, y'all know we don't have we don't have just that one go-to receiver. So we have to get everybody involved in the receiving core. Um, Cole Prentice, no, uh, Jacory Brooks is leading all receivers with 302 yards and four touchdowns. Uh, Cole Prentice, 278 yards and a touchdown. Trayshawn Holden, 243 yards, four touchdowns. Jermaine Burton, he got through. Three touchdowns on 266 yards passing. And Cameron Latu, our tight end, 206, 206 yards with two touchdowns. Also, JoJo Earl got a touchdown. And Amar Black got a touchdown. But Alabama need to improve in all areas of the defense. We got to get a pass rush. Our pass rush was nullified last week. We don't need to have Dallas Turner in in in. Uh, uh, we are Anderson dropping in coverage. We need those guys to rush the damn passer. Okay. If maybe just maybe last week against Tennessee, if we had a pass rush, they wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have scored all them big touchdowns. or, or had all of them deep throws. You got to affect the damn quarterback. And last week, Alabama was not doing that. And I know damn well this week we're going to have to affect Will Rogers because if we don't, we're going to get eight up once again. All right? Plain and simple. We got just got to play better, got to have better play calling on the defensive end. Well, the defensive side of the ball. 
we got to have that. If you know a guy ain't living up to what you thought it would, take his ass out. Because we're going to need every damn game from here on out. Of course, I'm saying what everybody else already know. So let me get to my score prediction for this game. And guess what? You damn right. I'm going to pick my Alabama Crimson Tide to win this game. Now, what I got to score, that might be a little different. I ain't going to say it's going to be a blowout. Like I've been saying all season. My defense got to regain my confidence. So, with that being said, I'm going to say the score, even though Mississippi State got a damn, in my opinion, a high-powered uh, offense. So, we're going to see what this damn, let me see. I got to look at some shit before I even make this damn score prediction. So, but, <laughs> oh, man, 40, let me see. They scored 49, 39, 16, 45, 42, 47. Oh, we can score more than that. But anyway, the score, my score prediction is Alabama, Alabama 40, 44. I'm saying 44. Alabama 44. Mississippi State, 31. I'm getting them 31 damn points. Damn sure is. 31. Shit. They only scored 17 against Kentucky, 16 against LSU. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to give them 31. 44-31 is my final answer. Road. 44-31, Bama's going to win this game. That's my final answer. Roll damn tide.